recordings so this is a interview preparation series part 4 video so this is an interview preparation series conducted by EC Electronics in which we will be preparing for core company interviews that is the core companies of electronics okay so we will be uh, discussing all the important areas like embedded system RTOs it is real time operating systems networking digital signal processing all basic areas or all core areas which are important for core company interviews we will be covering in this series okay so this is a part 4 video and in this video we will be discussing some questions from real time operating system so uh, i have actually done a video on uh, embedded systems and i was receiving a lot of good comments regarding the video and a lot of people wanted me to continue this series so in this series part 4 that is in this video we will be discussing about real time operating systems okay we are going to see some of the very important uh, concepts or some important questions from the real time operating systems okay so let us see the questions one by one you will be also seeing the answers on the screen okay so let us see the first question so the first question is what is what do you mean by real time system okay so there are actually two type of systems there is generally systems and then there is real time system so real time system just like its name is saying it is giving importance to time constraint okay so a system that is working within some certain time constraints is called a real time system so it is actually giving importance to time that is uh, in the correct time or within the deadline whether the system is completing its operation or not that the system is looking for okay and if the system is missing the deadline or if the time constraints are not followed then some failures or some problems will happen okay so uh, such type of systems are called real time systems okay i hope you understood the answer okay next question what is rtos so this is actually a very favorite question in most of the interviews nowadays because rtos is nowadays uh, in a very big trend okay so rtos what is rtos that is the second question so rtos stands for real time operating system so there are two type of operating systems basically there are general systems and then there is real time operating systems okay so windows if you take it is a general operating system it is not a real time it is a non real time operating system whereas linux ubuntu there are other examples also we will be seeing that uh, towards the end okay so these windows linux uh, sorry this linux ubuntu these operating systems are real time operating system that means it is giving more importance to the time or the deadline so uh, in the other operating systems the operating system is actually looking for the accuracy of the performance it is how accurately it is producing the results or how precisely it is producing the result but in real time operating system it is actually looking for how efficiently the system is completing the task within the deadline or within the time period so that is the basic difference between a general operating system and a real time operating system okay and if the timeline or the time uh, deadline is not followed some problems will be happening okay so that is the second question which is what is a real time operating system third question how is rtos different from other operating system that answer we have already discussed because since the system is giving more importance to time or deadline if the deadline is missed even if the accuracy is less or even if the performance is less the time limit has to be kept or the deadline has to be met okay so that is the constraint but in other systems it is actually looking for more performance oriented or more accuracy oriented but here it is time oriented okay so that is the third question next fourth question is what is a kernel the next question is what is a kernel i hope you have heard of this term called kernel so the kernel is actually the heart or the core of an operating system where all important programs the system programs are kept is called or that portion is called the kernel of a that is the heart or core of an operating system okay so it is called kernel and it is one of the programs that is actually getting loaded when the system is started after the bootloader okay so when the system is starting up this kernel will get activated and it will it will help in continuing the the remaining startup process and it starts up the peripherals the timers the input output unit monitor printer everything it will be controlling okay so this kernel is actually the core of the operating system which is carrying out all the major operatings or all the major handlings everything it is done by the kernel okay so it is the heart or the core of a operating system okay that is the most important part okay i hope it is clear 
That is the fourth question. Then, fifth question is thread. What is a thread? So, a thread is actually a very basic unit of execution. Or it can be said as the basic unit of execution for which a processor time is allotted. Okay. So, that is called a thread. And you don't get confused with a process and a thread because a thread is actually just a part of a process and a process will be consisting of n number of threads okay so if you are facing the question like what is a thread you should be saying that it is a very basic unit of execution okay so that is a thread next question what is a process next question is what is a process so a process is actually an executing program so after you write a program and when you click on the run button and you execute the program it is actually getting converted to a process okay so a program you can say it as a passive entity and a process that is when you execute the program it is converted to a process okay so it is an actually working entity or an active entity so in simple words when you see an application it will be having n number of processes okay so that is a process that is when a program is executing or when the program is running we call it as a process okay next question what is the difference between process and thread so we have already seen the basics a process if you see it is having n number of threads so we can think of a process as an independent entity whereas thread is not independent it is actually dependent and n number of threads is constituting a process okay so that is the difference between a process and a thread Next question, very, very important question in dealing with RTOS. What is a semaphore? Okay, I hope you have heard of this term called semaphore if you have studied RTOS at least uh, once in your lifetime. Okay, so the semaphore is actually, you can say that semaphore is used for inter-process communication and inter-process synchronization. So, we know that in a system or in a program, there are various threads or there are various processes right for an application so if these processes are working together in order to synchronize or in order to have a communication between these process or threads we can use semaphore so it is an object or it can be said as a variable which is used for inter-process communication and synchronization synchronization that is in order to make all these threads or all these processes work properly properly communicating with each other we can use a semaphore okay so that is a semaphore it is a object which can be used for inter-process communication and inter-process synchronization so if you go deep into the semaphore there are and there is actually a lot of applications and there is a lot of variations also for semaphore but you should be knowing that it is, it is used for communication and synchronization between the threads in the application okay so that is a semaphore Next one, mutex. What is a mutex? So, mutex is actually a type of semaphore, but you cannot say that semaphore is same as that of mutex. There is some difference also, okay? So, so a mutex is actually a mutually exclusive object, okay? So, we'll discuss uh, on a small example. Consider that there is a shared resource. There can be any memory or any other resources. Consider that there is a shared resource and it is shared between n number of threads and consider that when all these threads are trying to access this shared resource or shared memory at the same time what will happen there can be congestion or collision right so in order to avoid that or in order to avoid this problem which can uh, cause due to the shared resource we can make use of a mutex so the mutex what it will do it will allow only one thread to access this shared resource at a time and when one thread is accessing the shared resource the mutex will make sure that other threads cannot access the shared resource okay so that is the very basic explanation of a mutex so actually when you study RTOS, you can understand that mutex is actually a variation or a, a type of semaphore itself but it is having certain special features okay so this special feature is that it is mutually exclusive that when one thread is uh, having an access on that mutex other thread cannot access it okay so this property it is using for synchronizing this shared resource concept okay 
so when there is a shared resource and when there is various threads or n number of threads trying to access this shared resource there can be collision to avoid this we can make use of mutex which will prevent that is when one thread is accessing the shared resource other thread will be other threads will be blocked it cannot access the shared resource okay so that is a very simple explanation of a mutex okay so that is mutex next question next question is actually an example of auto so i have included some examples so if you are being asked what are the various examples of autos you should be saying there are links os there is osc there is qnx and also there is qnx neutrino this are actually a uh, lighter version of qnx then there is rt linux then vx works windows ce these are actually some examples of autos and also there are uh, other autos like free autos which are being used in the uh, chips or the uh, along with microprocessors and microcontrollers and all okay so these are some questions which i have included in this video so these are some basic questions only from autos or real time operating systems so if you want a part 2 please do mention in the comment section we'll be including more questions in the next video okay so anyway we'll be continuing this series and this series is called the core company interview preparation series which will be continuing because a lot of people are interested in learning about these questions or knowing about these concepts because they are actually preparing for the core company interviews okay so i am especially doing these videos for those people so please do make sure that we you share it with all your friends who is preparing for the core company interviews okay so if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up please do mention in the comment section whether you want to continue this rtos series or not that is if you want a part 2 or not okay i'll be doing next video also okay and please do share it as i said and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching